Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Katerina and my channel is Talk With Kat, where we talk about so much fun, interesting entertainment, celebrity gossip stuff, and we talk about makeup tutorials. And for those of you who know me, hi and welcome back. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a new foundation tutorial while we chit chat a little bit about what's going on in the entertainment celebrity world. So I walked into Sephora the other day and I noticed it's starting to get pretty cold out, although today's weather was pretty warm, but last weekend it was pretty chilly. So it was, I noticed that I'm already going back to my dry skin routine and I needed a new foundation that was gonna last long and help me out with my dry skin and not cling to my dry patches. So I kind of went into Sephora on a whim and I was talking to the associates and they recommended the Lancome Ultra HD foundation which it lasts for about 24 hours it says so I picked it up because I thought it was honestly amazing it's so shiny the packaging is so pretty it was I think $47 I got it for but with tax and everything added up to 50 but like I said it's worth the money if it actually works this is what the bottle looks like it's so pretty. It's got this glass packaging. Very, very, very rich looking. I love it. It's got this little gold rose up top. So pretty. I'm just going to read a little bit into this product for you guys. Then I'm going to test it out, show you what it looks like. I got into shade 270 Bisque. Yeah. B-I-S-Q-U-E. Bisque, bisque, I don't know, but the shade I thought was matched me pretty well, if not just a little bit light for me since I still have my summer tan on. So I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to get to reading all about the product. So you can use it with your sunscreen, but who's going to do that? It lasts for up to 24 hours of color wear. Look at this. Following eight years of research, Lancome unveils its first 24-hour foundation for lasting perfection with its eternal soft technology, Tint Idol. I always mispronounce that, but Tint Idol Ultra Wear defeats all challenges. Complexion stays flawless and unified, never cakey. As for the result, the full coverage you need, flaws, pores, redness, and all imperfections visibly disappear. I got the pores, I got the redness, this is perfect. The velvety finish you love for up to 24 hours of lasting makeup perfection and comfort. So it's full coverage and has a velvety matte finish. However, I did ask the woman if it is good for dry skin, oily skin. She says it's suitable for all skin types, which is already a bonus. So now let's get into testing the product. So right off the bat, I noticed that it's a pump and that is my favorite thing in the world with every foundation. It's just so much more easier to apply, I feel this way. You just pump it on a beauty blender or your brush or on your face, it's the easiest. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like once I let it out. So it doesn't run or anything. It's pretty, it's pretty silky smooth and it's very liquidy, which is like, it doesn't run. So it's so weird, it feels like watery. See, the shade is just a tad light, but I can work with it because once the winter months come and once it really, like once I lose my whole tan completely, this is going to be a perfect shade range for me. With it, So I'm just going to put it all over, blend this out. Right off the bat, I'm already seeing that it is blending pretty easily. like my acne spots but honestly so far this is glowing as is already and I have no highlighter on the only primer which I forgot to mention to you guys but the only primer that I did really apply is the elf natural glow lotion I've heard so many good reviews on this and I used it and look I'll swatch it for you guys really quickly it comes out literally like a creamy lotion and it has little bits of gold flakes, which will probably be really hard to see on camera. But it's like pretty shiny and it smells really good too. So I'm just going to apply some on the Beauty Blender. And like I said, this and it doesn't even seep into the Beauty Blender or anything. Like a little goes a long way with this foundation as well. 
it's very easy, I think, to layer it. So now that I've applied it to my face, I can honestly say that it dries down pretty quick and it dries matte. Like, it doesn't feel, like, sticky or anything. And I feel like when I'm going like this, it's already seeped into my skin. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off on my hands. Like, I'm getting nothing, which is amazing, I think. I haven't had this kind of impression with a foundation before. Like, I was using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And that foundation itself was a fortune. It's like $65, $70, like that. And I feel like it was running... It was like making me oily really fast. Even when I would apply it, I felt oily. This feels very matte, but dewy and glowy. So I'm going to go in with concealer. And I'm going to use the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Concealer. And I have the shade Light Medium Sand in 27S. My favorite, my literal ultimate favorite concealer. I think it's the best. It blends the best. It might be a little dark compared to my foundation, but like I said, that's okay. I'll see as it sets if it turns a little darker or how that works. I don't know if you guys are obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes like I am, but as soon as it came out at Starbucks, guess where I was? The front freaking door of Starbucks. And then I found these in Rite Aid, these little pumpkin spice latte candles. Let me tell you, this smells literally like a pumpkin spice latte. I light it up just so my room can smell like it. I feel like it's the typical fall weather smell type thing. I'm honestly going to miss it once winter comes. However, I am that girl that stocks up on like the Starbucks pumpkin spice lattes, like the Keurig K-Cups, and I make them at home because why not? I actually should go in. See, I think this foundation already did a good job of covering up my redness and my acne. I might go over my acne a little bit with my concealer, but I think honestly it did a really good job as it's covering it up so far. Now I'm just going to blend this out. I'm going to use some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Also one of my favorite products. I use this for everything. Like I try to avoid using the Laura Mercier powder because of my dry skin. Sometimes I feel like it can dry out my skin. Um, along with my foundation, so I go with the setting spray, which honestly works wonders as well. Automatically, I feel like all my imperfections, everything's just covered up, and this honestly looks airbrushed on me. I feel like, I literally feel like a friggin' Barbie doll. So because, like I said, as I am getting back to it, the Laura Mercier setting powder sometimes can dry it out. What I do is I spray a little setting spray on my beauty blender and I go over my concealer area with it just to set it in more. I find that it helps. It's a neat trick I picked up, so I'm sharing it with you guys. So for bronzer, because I just want to do like a simple makeup look today. So I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I got this as a gift for my birthday. It's the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. Let me tell you, this is the best bronzer I've ever come across. Ever. Like I've used a lot of bronzers in my time. But this one is just so buttery and it smells amazing and everything. It's just perfect. It smells like coconuts. It's literally, it literally says the coconut perfect tan right on the box. And it's a limited edition one too. So I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics V1 blending brush. And I'm going to just apply a little bit here and there. Nothing too much to contour. So I don't know if you guys have heard, but... You know me, I love celebrity news and talking about it and everything. And I love hearing your guys' opinions on it as well. But I just read an article about Kanye West moving back to Chicago. I was like, well, what happens to Kim? What happens to the kids? Are, are they going to go in with him? A lot of people have said that him and Con uh, her and Kanye's relationship like is going to come to an end and they're going to get divorced and... I thought it was all talk and everything, but if he gets up and moves his things to Chicago, what happens to her? Is she going to pick up and move there too when her life is like here? 
it's just crazy. I honestly, like a lot of people were saying from the beginning that their relationship wouldn't last. And I didn't believe it, but now I'm kind of worried. So with just a little bit of bronzer, I already think this looks fantastic, honestly. And I didn't use any setting powder, notice, on my face. Just the setting spray and the bronzer blended out perfectly on top of the foundation. And it still feels matte, the foundation. And I don't feel like it's oily or anything. And I still have that glow. However, I do want to run and put more mascara on just to make that bold look. And honestly, before I do that, actually, I'm going to take out my bronzer and I'm just going to apply it on my eyelids a little bit just to give me that bronze look. This bronze look is everything I live for once the winter comes. It makes me look tan. It makes me feel alive and not like look like a ghost. I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara. I just picked this up yesterday too. It's the Maybelline Plumped Up, Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. One of my favorites, like I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I love the Lash Next Door Mascara by Brooklyn and Bailey because normally I mix those two. For some reason, I always find myself going back to this mascara only because it's like it gives me those bold and beautiful lashes. And I love when the lashes are thicker towards the end and like thin towards the beginning. It's just what I like, so I typically always go for this mascara. So I don't know if you guys are big Purge fans either, but for those of you that are Purge fans, I've seen every movie of The Purge. Every movie. I'm obsessed with The Purge. I don't know why. I just love those movies. I love scary movies. And they just came out with the show. So for those of you Purge fanatics like me, there is a show and it, it's on USA Network, I believe, every Tuesday at like 10 p.m. And I record it and I watch it all the time in the morning. There's been three, two or three episodes out right now that I've been watching. And I think they're pretty sickening, but pretty interesting at the same time. So I feel like I watch it just for the entertainment. But it's a good thing that this stuff isn't real because if this was real, I think I would move. It's just really freaky. Already, I feel like with this mascara, my lashes just are completely dramatic i mean look at that it has that dramatic effect which i love about this mascara because sometimes i don't feel like putting on eyeliner doing that wing and this i feel like covers up for it so for lips i'm just gonna go in with this baby lips this pink color right here so this is the final look of the foundation i think honestly this looks great and feels great as well so the velvety finish effect of it i definitely believe just because seeing it on my face it feels so like matte but not drying at the same time and I think that my face looks airbrushed it doesn't look dry I'm looking up close and personal in the mirror and I don't see it clinging to any of my dry spots and I did have dry spots right here and a little around my nose and I do always tend to have it up here but I'm not having that right now as for the color of the foundation I feel as though like this did a good job at matching I'm looking in like I don't feel or I don't feel that it looks pale. So when it sets, one good thing to know about this, it sets a little bit like darker. So for those of you who are a typically lighter color shade type thing, definitely go for a shade lighter because it does set darker. But as I'm looking at it right now, I think it matches perfectly with my neck and I didn't blend it down to my neck this time at all, which probably should have but I don't see that I had to because it matches it matches everything I feel I'm really honestly impressed I don't think I felt this impressed about a foundation in so long I've tried a lot of foundations I go in there and I get a bunch of samples of every foundation that comes out kind of went out on a limb with this one and it came out like amazing like this is probably my new favorite foundation sorry Giorgio Armani but Lancome here I come so if you guys are looking to purchase this definitely purchase this I hope that this video did help you guys decide whether this foundation is good for you like I said it's good for all skin types so if you want a new foundation one that's gonna give you that matte look but you also have dry skin at the same time 
this is perfect for you. If you have oily skin and you're looking for a matte foundation, again, this foundation is perfect for you. So that's my final review on this foundation. I hope this video helped you guys decide whether this foundation is the right one for you or if you were even questioning whether to purchase this one or not, I hope that it helped you decide whether to go and purchase it. And honestly, I don't think you'll be making a mistake purchasing this foundation because it's suitable for all skin types. It's definitely worth the money. So thank you guys for watching. I will definitely link down all the products that I used down below and I will link the site and website for the foundation for those of you interested in purchasing. Thanks again for watching. Leave me some comments below on what you guys thought of this video and I'll see you guys on my next one. Ah, that's wonderful. Good thing that was not on my shirt and all on my arm instead. Leave it to me to do this to a, a, during a video. Bye!